Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist, and I recently made a couple of videos about how you can transfer UVs between objects, and then um, I made a follow-up to that about how you can find the uh, get a selection of the seams of your UV islands, and um, so I'm going to continue that with a third video now where I show how you can um, do something similar to what I did in the first video where you transfer UV coordinates from one object one copy of an object to another, but this time we're going to look at it using a remesh where the topology doesn't match up so well, which makes that simple method um, not viable. And we're going to, to do that, we're going to use the UV seams node group that I made in the second video, which is about how you can find the UV seams in geometry nodes. So in that video, we made this little group, which uses some topology nodes to compare the UV coordinates. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this rock, which I made with my Petrify tools, and I, it has UV coordinates and materials, and I'm going to remesh it using by converting it to a volume. So we're going to do to volume, mesh to volume, and then we're going to do volume to mesh. And by doing that, we can increase the resolution. So if we look at the wireframe of this, you can see it's pretty low poly, made from a bunch of Boolean operations. The topology is really weird as well. Uh, once we remesh it, you can see we have this, if we turn it up, you can see we have more even topology. Um, so let's just turn this up so we have even higher resolution, so it's 128, and that should be good enough for what we're testing with our UV coordinates. So now the question is, how can we restore um, this material with these texture coordinates to our new mesh that we have, because we've lost that now. So the first thing we can do is just set the material back to that rock. And now that we've set that to the rock material, you can see some of the some of it transferred over. Um, we can even put the attributes after this to get more of it transferred over. But uh, we lost the texture coordinates, so the UV coordinates are gone. So uh, the way we can get those back is by taking our original mesh here and sampling the nearest surface. And we want to sample a vector that's going to be our named attribute, which is the UV map. And then we want to store that as a named attribute on our new remesh geometry. And we want to do a 2D vector on the face corner. And we want to call that UV map. Let's turn this back down, actually, because it's getting kind of slow. Um, and then we can just connect that and it sort of works but you get that weird effect along the seam here and what my solution in the first video was to take the sample position and set that to be a mix of the um, position and then the position evaluated on the domain of the face and then set that to be point Nine. And you can see, well, that worked when the topology was the same. That doesn't work in this case where um, the, you know, the edge of the original mesh that runs through here is more than that small 0 0.0001 uh, difference away. So the problem is that on one of these faces, so this face right here, um, these two vertices are sampling from the UV island that was over here. And these two vertices are sampling from the UV island over here. And then this stretching is happening where it's interpolating between those two points. So the, the solution to this is to force every phase to sample all four corners from the same UV island. And the way that we can force it to do that is by using the get UV seams group that we made last time and connecting that to the um, face group. Uh, edges to face groups with as the boundary edges and this will get us an ID value so if we view this on the original mesh um, as a color to color and we set that viewer node type so you can see we have these different UV islands here and they're all um, grouped based on um, where the UV seams were in the original mesh and that's great because we can plug that into our group ID for the sample nearest node. 
However, that doesn't actually solve our problem because um, we also need to know on our remeshed mesh which of those groups it each face should be sampling from. So I'm not exactly sure how this node, how the group and the sample group ID work, but my idea of how it works is that um, it's kind of like a dictionary lookup, and you have to you have to tell it these are the face group IDs to sample from, and then also tell from these from the sam the geometry that you're sampling onto the, put those a similar set of IDs on that so that um, it can map group one to group one and group two to group two, etc. So the way to do that is on our geometry here. We want to sample the nearest face. And we can connect, and then we need to sample at that index. And again, that needs to be a face, and we can connect the same geometry to it. We want to sample an integer, and we want to sample this face group ID. Um, and then, once we have that, this we can um, just connect to our sample nearest surface node. And because the surface that we're sampling with is this mesh. It would be sort of like capturing it on this um, geometry here. The only thing about this is we have to evaluate it on the domain of the face because we um, this sample nearest surface node is going into this store named attribute node and that is on the domain of the face corner. So by default this would be evaluated on the face corner as well. But we want to force it to evaluate on the face, which will make every corner of the face sample from the same UV island, if that makes sense. So once we have that, we can just plug our evaluate on domain into the sample group ID and then um, view the result. And you can see we have now restored the UV coordinates from the original. You can see that they are slightly different and it gets shaded differently, mainly because there's less geometry. Um, but they are generally the same. The same part of the texture is being displayed on each. So anyway, that is how I transferred um, UV coordinates from a low poly mesh to a remeshed mesh um, using the sample near a surface node with, in combination with um, sampling on each face from the same UV island in the original. So another useful thing to know, it's a little more complicated to set up obviously because you have to sample from the face the ID first and then sample the surface. But um, a good solution for that more complicated case where the geometry, the topology of the higher resolution geometry doesn't match up well with the original or match as perfectly with the original. So anyway, I think that pretty much covers it for what I know about transferring uh, UV coordinates from a low poly mesh to a high poly mesh. Um, those are my three different tricks. Um, I've made a whole bunch of different tools and things for geometry nodes. You can check all of that out in the description. There's tons of info on my website. I have a Discord server if you ever want to stop by and say hello. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.